Okay guys, before we start, please do hit that like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I post a video. Okay guys, bago tayo mag-umpisa, uh, shoutout muna kay Justin Season. Uh, ito na yung request mo bro. Thanks for watching. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Angry Bikes. And in today's vlog, we have an opportunity to review the Yamaha XTC125. No, uh, marami sa inyo nagre-request uh, ng review nito. Uh, fortunately today, meron tayong nahanap na XTC125 which is my cousin's bike, no? Uh, hindi ko alam meron pala siyang Yamaha XTC125. So, yun guys, uh, we're gonna go have a quick review of the bike. So, stay tuned. <coughs> Okay guys, so let's start with the review of our Yamaha XTC125. Let's start with the headlight. Yung headlight natin guys is, is a compact headlight with halogen bulb. Na, so, hindi siya LED guys. Yung turn signals natin, regular bulb lang yung nakalagay sa kanya. Although it is amber colored lenses na. Okay, so, medyo okay siya dun sa kulay ng white natin. So, para dito sa front fender natin, it's nice, compact siya, uh, medyo hawig siya dun sa DT125 na fender, 2-stroke uh, old version, pero medyo mas may korte ito ngayon, so maganda siya. Okay, for our front suspension guys, uh, okay siya, uh, medyo malaki yung diameter niya uh, compare sa mga regular uh, dirt bikes na meron tayo in the market. No? So, good job, Yamaha for the XTC. Okay guys, for the fuel capacity, it's uh, 11 liters, full tank. Um, bali, estimated fuel consumption of, let's say, 40 to 45 kilometers kung hindi ka walwal. -wal. And uh, 35 to 38 kilometers pagka walwal -wal mode. Okay guys, uh, nanotice ko lang dito sa seat niya. Uh, close na siya dun sa mga YCs natin, ano? Um, di ka tulad ng ibang dirt bike na ano, uh, malalapad itong seat nito uh, makitid na siya so mas manageable yung uh, galaw mo also uh, nagbigay din yung uh, Yamaha ng uh, rear uh, carrier na so very handy to especially dun sa mga gagamit itong bike na to uh, sa city riding Okay guys, so ito yung rear end ng uh, bike natin. No? Nanotice ko lang yung brake light natin. Medyo may konting awang. Pero hindi naman siya pangit tingnan. No? Uh, halogen bulb for the brake light. Our turn signals as uh, yun din, amber uh, colored lens. Tapos regular bulb. At hindi ka tulad ng ibang dirt bike sa ibang makers. Meron uh, plate light. Itong isa na ito wala. Okay guys, sapunta so naman tayo sa console gauges. Uh, kagaya ng, din ng ibang ano, ng mga ibang uh, street legal bikes. Meron siyang odometer, meron trip meter, neutral indicator, turn signals. So this one has an engine check light uh, na available sa kanya. Uh, yun nga lang, sana nilagyan na lang ng, uh, ng fuel gauge para at least mas maganda yata yung fuel gauge na ilagay. Tapos meron din siyang trip meter set. Ayan, yung bilog na yan guys. Yung rotator na yan.
So electric started bike na siya, meron din siyang kick of course, tapos may kill switch siya, and uh, the throttle return cable. Hindi natin makikita normally yan sa mga lower CCs katulad nito, no? So we have our ignition switch right there and our electrical controls, high beam, low beam, uh, signal lights, our horn. So meron na siyang telescopic boots tapos yung reflectorized na bilog na yan with some added safety features. So we have a dual sport tire for the front, uh, 80 by 90 by 21 tire. Of course, uh, 21 rim. And uh, for the braking system natin sa harap, it's already a disc brake, guys. 245mm rotor disc and a dual caliper piston. So we have a single cylinder. 124cc 4 stroke engine air cooled with a maximum power output of 9.1 kilowatts at 8000 rpm so that's 12.50 horsepower and a maximum torque of 11.5 nm at 6500 rpm and yes guys it is a single overhead cam 5 speed manual transmission with a multiple wet clutch so this thing right here is your fuel cock. Uh, dun sa mga nag-wonder kung ano to. Ano. So yung arrow na yan. Yan. Dyan sa nakaturo guys. Ibig sabihin open yan. So seat height is 840mm. With a ground clearance of 260mm. So pag 5.6 ka katulad ko. Medyo think I others tayo. So rear tire natin guys. Is 110 by 80 by 18 Okay, so 18 rims na tayo sa likod. And our braking system for the rear is a mechanical drum brake. Kamuha na ng mga production swing arm yung na high XTC guys, no? Ang wala lang, bali yung linkage guys. So, we have a monoshock for the rear suspension. Adjustable na yun guys, so pwede mo siyang i-adjust to your comfort dun sa play niya. And Yamaha was generous enough to give us a skid plate. Kaso lang uh, plastic sa guys. So kung gusto nyo matibay, bilhin na lang ayun ng aftermarket items. Marami dyan guys. At saka dito, natuwa ako dito. Itong nakakabit na to sa brake pedal. Uh, support yan para sa mga boots. Para hindi magasgas yung engine side cover na yan. So we have the kickstarter right here. And this one is our carburetor. Ito yung sinasabi ko guys, dalawa yung cable nya. So, bali may throttle return cable siya for better response ng carburetor natin. Ang oil capacity natin, dun sa mga mag-change oil na, uh, isang litro yan guys. Check nyo rin sa manual para sure. And the oil that you should use is actually a whole new topic guys, no? Sa isang vlog yan. Gagawin natin yan uh, sa mga susunod na vlog natin. Kung ano yung mga magandang oil na gamitin sa mga motor natin. Yamaha XTC125 comes in two colors guys. No? This one is white tapos yung isa color blue. So we have our muffler here which is painted uh, matte black. Of course high temp yan sigurado. Itong muffler na to guys sakto lang yung laki at yung haba. Hindi katulad ng mga ibang makers natin na exaggerated yung mga muffler. At yung nakikita nyo na yun guys, that is the mud guard. Uh, kailangan yan para hindi malagyan ng putik lagi yung shocks natin. Okay guys, uh, test natin yung muffler sound ng XTC125. So yung mga XTC125 guys, ayan yung tunog nya. Stock pipe po yan. Ang side mirror guys 
ng XTC125 yan siya hindi siya bilog price for Yamaha XTC125 guys here in the Philippines is 84,900 okay guys so itatry natin siya check natin yung suspension uh, tingnan natin yung play okay Naka-lowered pala yung ano, yung telescopic ng pinsan ko. So, medyo sub-sub siya. Tinatry natin siya pa wheelie sa stock. Uh, medyo hindi kaya. Kasi medyo sub-sub. Tsaka by the way guys, bago pa tong ano na to, no? Uh, itong unit ng pinsan ko. Bale, 600 kilometers pa lang on the clock. So, hindi pa siya masyadong nabibreak in. So, yung power niya, hindi pa nimimit yung talagang peak point niya. Okay, so eventually, ma marireach niya yung pick point niya. Okay, by the way guys, ang height ko is 5'6". Uh, no? uh, itong uh, motor ng pinsang ko, nilowered niya ng ano, mga 1 inch sa telescopic sa front suspension. Uh, kung titingnan nyo, yung pa ako, almost ano, uh, on the ground na. So yung leverage mo talagang okay. Although, it is 18 and 21 wheel, pero okay siya guys. Uh, yung Rear suspension niya, malambot, no? Okay siya. Unfortunately, guys, we're not gonna test this uh, on the road. So, hanap tayo ng ibang XTC na matatry natin sa off-road, sa trail, no? Uh, meron tayong ibang barkada. Check natin yung bike niya. Subukan natin sa trail. Pero, for now, guys, itong stock ng Yamaha XTC125, uh, it's really nice. No, uh, with the 18 and 21 rim setup, hindi ka na magsiset ng uh, ibang rim, no? As well as the tires. Pero kung gusto mo siyang gamitin off-road or on the trail, uh, mas maganda magpalit ka ng Navi tires. So marami tayong available na Navi tires uh, sa market uh, na mabibili nyo. So, overall uh, review, guys. Maganda siya. Nandun yung power uh, Dun sa mga hindi binayayaan ng height tulad ko Okay itong bike sa inyo guys For those who are eyeing to buy one Go get yourself one guys uh, It's worth it Hindi masasayang yung pera nyo Okay so I think that will be all for this episode Thank you for watching guys If you have any comments or any questions at all Please do comment in the comment section below uh, Try natin sagutin yan And also if you haven't subscribe yet please do click that like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell para may inform kayo uh, every time we post a new video okay so again this is joel saying ride hard ride safe peace out